What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today. Debuting a very interesting card. You saw it there for a second. It is the new 88 Adolis Garcia. Only about 6k sell now on the market and he's very, very good. He honestly looks like Ronald Acuna in a lot of ways and we'll compare the cards. This of course is a center fielder. I'm not going to play him in center as I'll take Cease as well. Maybe throw him in. This Kyber Ruiz actually looks pretty solid as well. But we're going to be doing a Adolis Garcia debut. And Adolis Garcia debut. He's going to play right field for me. Now, the defense isn't going to be anything spectacular, but this is a very, very, very solid card. In order to compare him to Ronald Acuna, who, of course, is better in every way, that's not the point. But you'll see here in a second. What overall is he? 88? So, Acuna's got plus one contact right, a little bit of a bigger boost against lefties, plus five power right, and then plus two power left. They're very, very similar at the plate. Acuna is a little bit faster, but Garcia is still fast. Can't steal as well. And the arm isn't there, but the fielding's all very similar. It's really the big differentiator for Acuna is vision, which doesn't really matter for hitting, and then stealing and arm strength. Otherwise, Adolis Garcia is actually fairly comparable. As insane as that sounds, Garcia is a very, 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 very good card. So we're going to be hitting him second today, right in front of Ronald Acuna. He's got good wheels, He's got great contact and power. I think it should be really, really fun. So we're getting him involved in there as well. I'm also going to change up the pitching just slightly. Fernando Valenzuela appears to be the best pitcher in the entire game right now. So kind of got to throw him in there. And we'll hop into ranked seasons. Currently 19-3, and making the push for World Series. Need probably at least five or six wins to get in there, if not more. So we'll play it, ship it. Why not? I enjoy the batter's eye. Okay, maybe not. Of course, I am live on Twitch, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube. If you want to see any of this live and a ton more, as I usually play Battle Royale on stream, I am live. Twitch.tv slash Bengal. So, let's get it. Playing a decent team. 95 overall. Frank Tanana on the mound gets even better with an upgrade. He is 34 and 22. First game in a few days. Could be kind of rough. I'm just really hoping Adolis Garcia. El Bambi. Get something going. Ready to turn on the heater at all times. Change up. Yep, thought it was going to be a curveball or something. Completely fooled me. <laughs> That's a really good pitch. But here is the man of the video. Adolis Garcia. And first swings a rip. Sweeping curve. He fields it really oddly. But it worked out enough, I guess. Adolis Garcia wasting no time getting on base with him. And here is the regular Ronald Acuna. If Garcia is the Cuban Ronald Acuna, here is the actual Ronald Acuna. But he goes back to the change up here. Nope! Goes to the curveball, and Ronald Acuna gets on one! Off the foul pole. If you've been watching any of the videos on the channel so far this year, you know. There are two questions. Did Ronald Acuna play? Did Jose Ramirez play? The answer will be yes to both of those. And then the follow-up, did they both homer? And the answer is always yes. Here's Jose Ramirez right behind him. Looking to make those questions correct. Come on, chip the rip. He's got me with the outside pitches right now. Couple strikeouts in the first inning. Fairly uncharacteristic of me. Although this is my first time using Fernando Valenzuela. Being R2'd pretty bad. Hopefully he doesn't come back to bite me. It's just a floater. I mean, the screwball is ridiculous. I think this swing is going to be hilarious to watch. And <laughs> it was. His Ronald Acuna goes down swinging. Yeah, Fernando Valenzuela is going to be a lot of fun to use. He's probably the new go-to ace. Just because what are you going to do against that? And now that he's going to try and sit back on that, he's like, okay, back-to-back -back circle change. You go to the fastball. Oh, he's still ready for it. Okay, that surprised me. So the new approach is throw off speed until he proves he can sit back. Got him. Mike Trout goes down swinging. Okay, a better inning this time, please. He's been just killing me on the outside part of the plate. Not this inning. Not this inning. I mean, he got me with, with that pitch, but it wasn't too bad of a swing. I just need to get my PCI on it. 
<laughs> Turn on it! Please! I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for it to be an out. React and turn. I can handle that. I hope. Salvi, good rip. Perfect, perfect. I've been on that curveball down and in a couple times now. This works well because we get to clear the pitcher spot. Maybe I'll even do something with Valenzuela. Like, just bloop it over the head of the second baseman. We'll take that. Turn it on a fastball, even though I'm kind of late on it. We'll take Byron Buxton, runners on. I missed it. I just missed it. I just missed it. Please get out. Ah, I just missed it. It was a decent curveball to hit just off the plate. I liked my chances. Homered on that pitch already. Perfect, perfect it with uh, my guy Salvi, Salvador Perez. Just couldn't get over quite enough. Strike three. Screwball got him. The screwball is so tough. It's so, so tough to hit. I think we honestly just have to put it in the zone. Probably going to go back to it. Got it. Strike three. Posada goes down. And we had Adolis Garcia up to hit. The man of the video. Led off with a single. I'd love to go deep. We know he loves to go fastball. Change up outside part of the plate. Let's get on one. Adolis Garcia sweeping curveball. It is out of here. I believe the same pitch earlier in the game that Ronald Acuna homered on. This one goes 444. The Cuban Ronald Acuna is unstoppable. And this might be game over. Jose Ramirez doesn't get a chance to homer because he quits. We'll hop into game number two. Facing Trevor Bauer. All right, we're going to play this one out. Looks like at his custom stadium. Seems interesting. I have not faced Trevor Bauer this year. I do know that he's going to have a cutter. This is a very odd-looking stadium. <laughs> okay. And Byron Buxton, no doubter, Oppo Taco. I bet the elevation here is ridiculous. He's threw a cutter down and away. We went down and got it with Byron Buxton. What a start to the game, and it might be a finish to the game. He's only in the quick menu. Looks like we're going to see another starter at some point. Here is Garcia, and he's going to make the first out of the video. Unfortunately, he was two for two with a homer already. But we're just late, and that one's... And easy out. Early. Will it have the distance? Buxton tracks it down. The elevation's not high, but how close are the fences? Professional take. <laughs> okay. That was a little dangerous. That was a little dangerous for sure. 3-2. To Jose Ramirez. Does he go back to the knuckle curve? He doesn't. But Jose Ramirez rips it to deep center. That one. Not quite going to get out. It's off the middle of the wall. And Jose Ramirez will have to be content with a double. I mean, I'm all over it. Just, uh, well, both of that is just baseball. Hard ground ball out. They're going to give me a base hit. I don't know how. That's absolutely an error. But anyway, <laughs> Chipper gets on first base. The inning stays alive. Now is our time to take advantage. I'm thinking right center. Would love to take something. Go oppo. And Tatis. That is the no-doubter. Don't look at my PCI on that. Because that's just baseball. You don't have to be on it. Sometimes you just swing, you miss, and it goes for a homer anyway. That's just baseball. Fernando Tatis Jr. No doubt home run at 1250 elevation. Professional take. We're going to walk. Now, I would just intentionally walk Salvi here with the pitcher spot coming up. Because you really don't want to allow a two-run home run here. Salvi is uh, pretty good. Unbelievable. I didn't get to that. Unbelievable. I mean, it, it, it is a meatball. It was a meatball pitch. I can easily turn on the fastball. I just didn't. 
So a good pitch, I guess. Yeah, he's super late. Which means we just go back to the sinker until he shows he can hit it lefty-lefty. There's 0-2. He chased super high out of the zone, which means we got to make this one look a lot more hittable, and we should get a bad swing. And we do. I just don't want it to get down the middle, you know? I'm comfortable throwing a ball here going 3-2. And he rips it. Good hit. That's not bad contact, but unfortunately for him, it is an out ground ball to Kevin Biggio onto Jose Ramirez. And we got a really nice four-run lead right now. Adolis Garcia is going to hit. Ah, it's such a... They're meatballs. It's just unfortunately my pitcher. It's a big problem. Buxton, no doubter. That one's over the 50-foot wall. And Byron Buxton, who had been slumping and struggling from the leadoff spot... Now has two home runs in this video. I think in this game, right? He, in this game. Garcia, that one's ripped down the line. Would love to elevate that. I don't even know where his outfielder actually is. There's a little bit of lag. I cannot send Garcia to his second. We'll take the single. He's actually just straight up ripping the ball. Yeah, only one home run. But he's ripping the ball. I need Jose Ramirez to make this 7-0 right now. I usually will swing at that. I'm very proud of myself for not. That too. I'm proud of myself. 3 0. I'll swing. He's not going to let me. Four pitch walk. Chipper Jones is up, and I don't think Trevor Bauer is going to go too many more pitches. Another ball. He's like, oh, all this guy does is take. Let me groove him a fastball. He doesn't. Throws a slider. Will that get out? Will that get out? I don't think so. Right to the wall. Just missed it. That was a meatball. I don't think this guy's going to hit this. It's just too weird of a spot. He ripped it. But luck is not on his side right now. Line out to Byron Buxton. Roller to third. Chipper's got it. He's on to first. Out number three. We are cruising right now. And he might be gone. And he is. So, maybe a little bit of a shorter video, but we got some good innings in there. You got to see Adolis Garcia rip the cover off the baseball. I like him. Is he going to stay in the team long term? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But you can't argue with these numbers. Hitting 750, 3 for 4 with a homer, a nuke, 444 I think it was. And, I mean, if you can get him paralleled up, to where he's usable. I mean, I, I don't know. Not, huh, words. 70 fielding is not bad. You're not going to get that higher. So honestly, Garcia in right or left field is kind of an awesome option. He really is just Ronald Acuna without the hose. And the arm at 73 really isn't too bad. Acuna is a little faster. He's a little bit better with the bat. But if you want Ronald Acuna and you don't want to spend 250 k Adolis Garcia is everything but the swing. Ronald Acuna swings just different. He just hits home runs. Garcia can hit home runs that we've seen, but he's not, he's not quite the same player. But this one is 5K, you know, 5.7K sell now. This one is 225K sell now. So the decision is very, very easy. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.